For this next part, which will feature moving objects along a path, I have created a flight path and have named it Bike. This crosses the first intersection, and as you can see in the vertical view, it has been placed simply on the ground. After closing and returning to the perspective view, you can use the visual options to inspect it in 3D space. Continuing, close the visual options menu and open up the scenario manager. We will copy the tutorial scenario and then rename it to bike as we will be generating a bike along the flight path. Add a new event like you've done before and rename it Bike. Choose Edit and then go to the Moving Models tab at the top. Choose to Add and then under Model Type choose MD3 Character Model. I've preloaded a bike which you can see and these can be downloaded from the database directly. The road and flight path defaults to Bike because it's the only one in the scene and the start position will just enter some values at 10 and then 10 for the initial speed. Be sure to check Visible on Scenario Start. This makes it so that it will always be visible regardless of event. Now back in the Events tab, choose the Up option to resort the Bike event. Add an exit to the Start event and then set it to Bike. For this, we're going to use a Temporal Exit Condition, and this just means it will start the event after a certain amount of time. We can enter 3 seconds, so this will start 3 seconds after the Scenario Start and then remember to uncheck the end the event option for both exits so the event does not end before either exit is complete. Now close the scenario manager and then from the top scenario selector list scroll down and choose bike from the options. Press play to begin. The bike will begin three seconds after the scenario starts traveling from the 10 meter point on the flight path going at 10 kilometers per hour. The original message, Go Through Intersection, should also pop up because you unchecked the End the Event option for both exits. This means the scenario is working properly. For this next part, we will create a crash event, where a collision exit condition will be used for the moving bike. This means that if the car collides with the bike, it will trigger an event that we create, in this case a message on screen that simply says, Crash. Now, copy the bike scenario from the Scenario Manager. Choose Edit and rename this to Bike Crash or whatever you choose. Click OK to confirm the name and then choose Edit again to reopen the editor. We will start by adding a new event and call this Crash as this will be the message Crash. Choose Edit and then like before choose the Multimedia Models tab. We will add two of these leaving the first as Model Type Sound Model but for the second model type we will choose Message Model. Under File, for the message model, click the ellipsis button and then type the word crash. I will leave the colors as is because it's appropriate for the event that we're creating, but you can choose to use whatever you like, and then choose the test button to see how it displays on screen. Click OK to continue, and for this I've chosen a two second duration. Now click on the ellipsis button for the sound model and choose a sound that you would like to trigger at the same time as the message model. Though it's not necessary to choose a duration for this, as it will simply play the sound once, you can use one if you'd like. Click OK. Now, under the bike event, add an exit. Set this to crash. Now, under the exit conditions, add, and then choose the collision as the condition type. For argument one, click on the ellipsis button, click add, then click on Simulation Vehicle and then choose Edit. Set this to Event Model and it will default to the model in this event, which is the bike that you initiated earlier. As you can see, it has all of the same settings. Click OK, wait a second for it to load, and then choose OK again. Everything should be set and now you can click OK and then close the Scenario Manager. Now, choose Bike Crash from the Scenario Selector at the top and choose Play. As you drive, the bike will be started as normal as well as the message for the first waypoint. However, if you crash into the bike with your car, the message Crash as well as the sound will trigger. This means the scenario is working properly. 
Though this next part does not continue to build on the existing scenario, we will look at another common exit condition called speed. In this, it will exit to the event based on the speed of the simulation vehicle, which is the vehicle that the user is driving. Now, copy the original tutorial scenario, and I've renamed this to speeding. Click OK to confirm, and then reopen the editor again by clicking the word edit. Start by adding a new event, and we will call this speeding as it will be the word speeding as a message prompt on screen. Click edit, go to multimedia models, click add, and under model type choose message model. Under file, click on the ellipsis button, and then type your message. Like normal, you can choose colors and fonts, and then test the way it appears on screen. Click OK to confirm, and this time I will use a two second duration. Now, in the start event, add a new exit, and set this to speeding. Add the exit condition speed this time, and then leave the options as they are, which basically reads, as the user vehicle travels over 50 kilometers per hour, it will trigger the event. Uncheck end the event for both of the start event exits, though. Now, it is important that you also set an exit condition for speeding event. However, it will not be set to another event. It will simply end the event that's running. We will use a temporal option and set it to 2.5, which is 0.5 seconds over the message duration. We will leave the end the event option checked and click OK. Now, close the manager and play the scenario. If you look at the bottom right of the screen, the car speed is displayed. The message speeding will display every 2.5 seconds for the 2 second duration any time that you travel over 50 kilometers per hour. This duration must be less than the temporal exit time to prevent a display bug with overlapping events and exits. This is common for any event and exit condition.